Breaking news, my wonderful, 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 lovely people. Our very, very own brother, Gumi, has come out with a serious allegations against the Nigerian army, saying that they are the ones supplying bandits with weaponry for their operation. Bandits are being supplied weapons by security operative all the way to the top. He said he has evidences to prove it, and these guys have you know, have brought, have given him evidence, have shown him, uh, you know, and he wants to mention name because everyone is, you know, condemning bandit for the activities they carry out. But when a man has a weapon in his hands, the, 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 the temptation of using the weapon becomes strong. Said the, the, the security operatives, you know, up all the way, a part of those who are causing the insecurity in the country, they are the ones, you know, supplying bandits with all of this and gumi said he has evidences and even all the way to aso rock those who are you know putting uh you know weapons in the hands of these people says if the government is serious and they really want to investigate they will find it out wow just wow that's gumi speaking because he has always advocated for the bandits and for him to say this is because you know uh, whoever is coming up may not be, may not uh, be a buhari that we want to listen to them or listen to their trash and so they want to deal with them accordingly and ensure that this ends once and for all but gumi is saying that well it is being sponsored and carried out by the same people who are within the system they don't want it to end they are benefiting greatly from it let's get all the details bandits are being supplied weapons by security operatives all the way to Aso Rock, Gumi reveals devastating information. According to a news that had been published by the Vanguard newspaper online yesterday, it was reported that Gumi, who happens to be a, a pre, who happens to be a, a known Islamic clergy, who is known for his contact his contact with bandits and headsmen terrorizing the northwest and north central part of Nigeria during an interview with Vanguard correspondent has revealed how terrorists are being weaponized. They are using them to torture the people. He says those who give them this weapon are security agencies. These security agencies are all the way to the top. They are in the government. They are all the way to Aso Rock and they are providing weapons for those people to continue in what they do. When he was told to reveal the cause of the security problem in Nigeria because he was once a soldier, Gumi said the problem is the structure of the security system itself and not caused by religion or tribal differences. When he was talking, he said, in the ranks of the army police, we have criminals. Yes, those who have extreme ideas. How did we get, how did they get into the army in the first place? It is because now you cannot get into the security agencies unless you have money. People bribe their way into it. And some use their influences to put some people there. We have criminals in the armed forces, all forms of government. Further speaking, he said, this bandit who, are sub, who is supplying them weapons, these bandits, are being supplied weapons by the army police security personnel. Bandits are being supplied weapons by security operatives. They are bad elements within the security system. Need you to know that they are even all the way up in the security system to Aso Rock. Even if the commander in chief wants this to end, it cannot end. If you don't look at the security system and overall overhaul it completely, the problem will continue no matter who becomes Nigeria's next president. So this is Gumi making a stay confession very seriously that what is going on, the bandit has told him <clears throat> personally that these things are not just happening, that Nigerians should be aware that there are people within their ranks. There are people within the government who are allowing this to happen. There are people within the government who are aiding, supporting, and ensuring that these things go on. Can you imagine? You know, he said that this way. This is even if the commander in chief say say don't do that, say no. There are people, and that is because they are not well fitted 
what Gumi, I don't even understand what you are saying. Is it not the same Buhari, the first set of bandits, those who have destroyed lives and property, wicked to the core, and eh, committing all forms of atrocity, killing, raping, and the rest? Buhari put them into our military. What did, did anybody did any of you say anything? So if those people with those kind of tendencies and elements in their hearts are already in the military, yes, and they have the kind of mindset, probably an extremist mindset within the military, do you think that? they will want to act in another way no their aim and their focus and determination will be what they've always thought about their aim their determination and their will always be their their heartfelt you know position and place where they want to ensure that they are the ones calling the shots and if it is not going the way that they've imagined or they've thought about then they cannot see good come out of it it is so sad but sadly these are the things that are going on and what Gumi is saying, there are elements of truth in it. Yeah, all the way into the military. There are people there who do not want this country to have a lease of hope. You know, they don't want this country to have that beautiful time where, you know, Nigerians can truly, you know, have a day, have rest and move on and have, you know, and have a, a, a beautiful, a beautiful time where people can go about and live their lives. These are people who are within the system. Sadly, he said even the president, even if he says, unless there's a re-overhauling of the whole system, you know, he's been the one interacting with this bandit. So he knows exactly what he's saying to an extent. I will not want to bank on, anchor on that. He said these people are being sponsored or being given this weapon by those within the system. Again, how do they buy it? Where do they get their supplies from? Is it not from those within the system that make the purchase? Those within the system should be questioned. How did, how did we get here? How are they getting their weapons? Yes. Yeah, because they, some of them are getting enriched from the whole process. So they don't want it to stop because of what comes to them. Yes. Some of them, there is religious overturn in the whole matter. And so there are so many consequences and, you know, things that are going on in that regard. So every single one of us are responsible for what is going on. None of us should sit back there and think things are suddenly going to fall in place if we do not arise and begin to take our place. The days upon us have come to show to us that everyone must rise. Please leave us a comment. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Subscribe. Bye for now.